Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am in Hemsedal, up in the birch forest, uh, up in the mountains. And I'll be trying to photograph some various different species of uh, mountain wildlife. Um, and right now I am searching for a virtually invisible bird. Uh, and uh, this is the willow ptarmigan and uh, it's a small bird relatively in a massive landscape and they happen to have the exact same coloration the the ptarmigan change their their plumage uh, to be completely white to blend in with these surroundings so these this is no easy task another element that really doesn't improve my possibilities of success is the fact that ptarmigan are popularly hunted for their for their meat making them rather skittish so even if I were to find these invisible birds most likely they'll just fly away instantly so I, I have to think about quite a few different things I'm trying to make a careful approach and somehow manage to spot them before they get spooked. Wish me luck. While I love snow in my images, the fact that it's snowed all through the night and we've got about half a meter of powder doesn't make this mission impossible any easier. For many years, I've attempted to photograph ptarmigan in wintry conditions. Most of my encounters have either been very brief and the birds have spooked or I haven't had my camera with me. After countless hours in the field and over a hundred kilometers of searching for them over the past winters, I'd still not captured the images I'd envisioned. However, as I heard some strange calls from the trees before me, my luck with the ptarmigan was just about to change. I have just spotted a flock of them. I would estimate that they're around uh, 10 to 15 maybe individuals. Some of them are up in the trees. Uh, feeding, whereas uh, the others are down on the ground and seem to be resting. So now I'm going to get my camera out and uh, try to get some photos. <laughs> Thank you. 
it turned out to be actually closer to 20 individuals I believe uh, so the flock was quite a lot bigger than what I initially thought but they they uh, I got a little too close probably and uh, they took to the wings and flew a few hundred meters uh, but I didn't want to pressure them anymore so now I'm leaving them for the day and then they can get some some rest and uh, and some time to feed <laughs> locations and now I'm sitting right outside a cabin uh, which belongs to a really kind woman uh, who happens to be a photographer as well um, who said uh, that I could come here and sit right on her uh, doorstep and photograph the small birds that she feeds here and it's a fantastic location there are lots of birds uh, as you can probably hear behind me, um, there are Siberian jays, there are uh, great spotted woodpeckers, there are um, willow tits and um, bullfinches and greenfinches and uh, different siskins. So this is really a great hotspot and uh, I can just sit here and uh, relax and photograph these birds as they come in to feed. Now, you might have noticed that this camera doesn't make any sound. That's because it's a completely new camera. So huge thanks to Fotodotano for sorting that out. This camera is mirrorless um, and uh, this is the new technology. And the magical thing about this piece of equipment is that it has um, animal recognition. So. This means, as long as I manage to keep a bird in flight in the frame, uh, the camera will, most of the time, manage to keep track of the bird. This means that I can now capture action images that um, earlier I could only dream of capturing. So that's my focus now. I've got my uh, ISO and shutter speed really high. Um, to, to try and get the action. While this wonderful technology makes it more possible to focus on the birds in flight, it does not mean it's easy, and I ended up with quite a few images looking like this. However, on some few occasions, the camera nailed focus and I came away with a handful of images that I'm really happy with. <laughs> 